Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. Because I fucked up. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Because I lied. And I misled a lot of people. I've stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich but no longer anonymous, and I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. Well, clearly I did it wrong, and I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids, and yes, I am on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts, and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no, I don't touch the stuff, not going to touch the stuff, never touch the stuff. That was a lie. I've convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind, so who the fuck am I cheating? I convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. I've convinced myself that this was the vocal minority, usually in the fitness category, driving to an unproductive conversation. And I had convinced myself that this would be the wrong message to send to the 15-year-old boys. So I continually dismissed it, and I dug myself into a bigger and deeper hole. I have only myself to blame. I did that. And it was all wrong. I will be better. I will talk about it openly because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. In 2021, when I was 43 years old, I didn't feel 100% physically or cognitively. So I went to get monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician to see what the fuck was going on with my life. And so yes, it's true. I have tried several peptide combinations in an effort to increase my growth hormone and it didn't work, meaning that my levels still remained below the normal le level. So yes, it's also true that I've tried pharmaceutical grade growth hormone and I finally found success in managing therapeutic levels in the normal range. Yes, this is true. I've continued on with 0.6 cc's of testosterone per week, roughly 120 milligrams of testosterone a week. And no, I don't take any other steroids like Nandrolone or Winstrol, but I have tried them in the past without success. Yes, it's also true that my blood chemistry got all fucked up while taking Nandrolone and Winstrol. My lipids got all deranged. My liver enzymes went sky high, which is why clinical oversight is an absolute must. Nope, the Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success. My companies were already kicking ass, already successful before the Liver King public figure, growing at 50% year over year and still growing at the same pace after the Liver King public figure. <laughs> nope, I've never had ab implants, ab etching, or any other plastic surgery, and I sure as fuck never actually had gene editing done in Singapore. 
I made all of that up. It was all intended to be a joke. And that's an expression of ancestral tin and tin. Have a little goddamn fun. Ultimately, why did I or why do I do them? When I talk about the 85% of the population that suffers from self-esteem issues, that's me. I'm part of that statistic. This is why I fucking work myself to death in the gym. This is why I do 12 to 15 blood-burning workouts a week just to feel like I'm okay. Still, I have to absolutely crush myself to do so, and I'm wrecked physically and cognitively, and hormone replacement has helped in a profound and significant way. And still, I believe that the path to paradise is paved in fucking hell. I previously have said in a weird way, I'm grateful for the recent events that have shed light on this complicated as fuck topic. I knew I needed to take this opportunity to openly discuss everything for me to be a better human. If there are any questions that remain unanswered, send them my way. I fully own that I fucked up. I am as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now, be better, and lead myself to a better life as a better human. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty.